TEP hosted a job fair last month for educators who want to enhance their teaching skills by drawing from lessons learned in the world of business. The internship program is a partnership among the University of Arizona, Tucson Values Teachers, and local businesses. And it's really clear that if you want to help education, if you want to help students learn, you have to help teachers because teachers are the key to student learning. And so one of the ideas that came out of those conversations was, uh, was an internship program. And so we're trying to see what have we learned from this longer term experience that we can that we can do in this kind of program where teachers can come in and do an internship but also work with us a bit and of course alongside that to help figure out this relationship between how the real world operates and what happens in the classroom. Last summer, as a part of the program, I work in TEP with the environmental department. So when I take this uh, information back to my classroom, and students are always, when they do math, they feel like, oh, mister, where am I going to use this math? I don't think uh, this is I'm going to use anywhere. Right? And kind of this is a kind of really nice uh, motivation point for the students. We had two teachers here last year and are now up to six teachers here this year that will be working for us this summer. And it's just a win-win for everyone because these teachers add such great value. Um, and it's... You know, it's just a very positive thing for any employer to be a part of. It's helping the community, helping the teachers, helping the students, and helping the company. So, and they hope to have everyone placed within an internship, I think, by the middle of April. So that's what we've been working towards, and we've secured six that we're very excited to have here. We'll have two in the um, T&D operations, transmission and distribution operations area of our company. We'll have one in engineering another in the Information Services, Information Technology Department, IS Security specifically, and then we'll have two in the Power Production Engineering area.